Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's me, R Squad 911, back again with another video. I just did an unboxing of this Pixel Prop Store uh, control board for the HasLab pack. This is going to go. This is going to control the N filter kit, vent kit that uh, CNA Prop Design has designed. Uh, you can use that one on its own, but if you want it to kind of like uh, vent when the wand overheats. With that feature, you're going to need one of these and it adds a Bluetooth connectivity and stuff like that. Um, you can watch my other unboxing video with for more information about this. But what I also got with this order is this cool little thing here. Um, it's really hard to get on video because it's all black and stuff. Uh, so it's hard to get the detail. But this is just raw 3D printed. Uh, this is the Aztec Death Whistle. Um, similar to the one used on the Ghostbusters Afterlife movie. Uh, yeah, I got this on his store. I think it was his last one. It was 20 bucks. I asked him if I could add it into my order and then save on the shipping. And he said that was no problem. And uh, here it is. It's a little bit different than the one used in Afterlife. If you look at the movie Afterlife, the eye sockets aren't as big like this. They're kind of smaller, but the crooked jaw is the same. And uh, some of the other details are very, very similar, but this is so cool. And a little fun fact is I read somewhere that Adam Savage recommended this to Jason Reitman because they're friends uh, to put this in the movie. And he might have designed it as well. Um, yeah, but another cool thing that I wanted to show you guys is that this thing actually works. All right. And it's quite loud. So I'm going to ask you right now, I'm going to give you a chance to turn down the volume. Turn it down, turn it down, because I'm going to blow into this. I'm going to do one uh, long blow into it, and then I'll do a soft and uh, a short one so you guys can hear it. So here we go. All right. <laughs> Truly terrifying. Okay, here is, uh, I'm just going to blow into it softly. And then I'll do a short one. But it sounds better when you do do it for a longer period of time like this. <laughs> this is a, probably the best 20 bucks I've ever spent on a Ghostbusters prop. Like, my God, this is terrifying sounding. I am going to walk into my daughter's room at night while she's sleeping and... <laughs> I am not going to do that. Uh, she's going to resent me. I'm going to scar her. And uh, yeah, my, my wife will probably not enjoy that either. She'll probably never sleep. <laughs> well, yeah, Pixel Prop Store. I'll put a link in the description below. 20 bucks um, plus shipping. I'm not sure if he has any more. I think I bought the last one, but I'm sure he can make some more of these. Uh, I am going to uh, paint this and weather it just to look like the movie. I think... The movie one kind of look grayish, whitish, kind of like stone bone. Uh, it's going to be fun trying to work with this. I, I've never painted on top of a 3D printed resin before, but it's going to be pretty fun. But man, great, great work. I can't believe this sounds just like the movie. And another thing is that the movie one actually was just a static kind of sculpture prop. It was actually solid. You couldn't blow into it, it wouldn't make sound. That was all uh, sound effects added on top. So to have one that looks very similar to the movie one and actually make sound is pretty freaking awesome. Uh, so yeah, that's all I want to show you guys. Just a quick video. Please like and subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you think of this. Um, hope I didn't break your speakers. I did give you fair warning to turn it down and I'm going to blow on this again. So uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>